welcome back to your lovely Avon lady. Um, welcome back to my most ethical tr crew. Um, you know, <laughs> this is such practice work for me to f to finding the brighter side of of things, um, other than just the um, sarcasm of "I'm not dead yet" or "I'm still alive." You know. Um, there's got to be something better than that to account for one's moment. <laughs> and, um, so I'm just back here to sort through some things. Um, I'm going to use the, um, the Book of Shadows Tarot as above. Um, I... I just feel like I need some guidance. <laughs> like I've been trying to ground the whole day and it's just been, it felt like a, con um, a constant set of misses instead of hits. Um, so just trying to figure that stuff out. Um, you know, there's some really cruel people out there. <sighs> Trying to target my kids? Are you kidding me? You must be joking out there. Because you're asking for quite a bit back. <laughs> Angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages. My chakras, my auras, my space, my work, and that of our children's. I call upon... upon um, my star families of the like, ascended masters of the like, elementals of the like, elders of the like. I think I said ancestors of the like, didn't I? If not, it's worth calling upon again. Um, so, uh, I'm a bit baffled as to the new lows that people will go through mm -hmm. just to, I don't know, what is it? Is it having a last word? I don't even know what they're, what's going on in there, but, um, spirit, um, can you help me sort through some of this? Because, um, on top of, you know, a minor thing on top of, uh, okay, first off a minor thing, and then um, some discussion that had to happen, um, which was very, very important. Just like, you know, uh, one of those things that you don't um, anticipate, but that's, that's the whole reason why you need wiggle room. And then getting an email with my <laughs> saying that you didn't complete all the paperwork and... Um, and knowing that you got some things to account for tomorrow morning. So it's going to be okay. It's going to be better than okay. Um, I know that even if like I'm a starting admin to what newness I've approached, that it's, um, I still am equipped with the truth. And that's really the heart of the matter. Um, and luckily, um, being that this is um, not the formal trial trial, but there's something um, there's something redeeming about this, something a lesson to be learned. Um, it's not one of the harder lessons in the fact that I um, am I'm telling the truth. So it, I mean that's that's the heart of it. So spirit, I just. And, and so I decided to um, kick someone out and block another person that came off as a fan. Um, there was something strange about how privately they would, you know, gush over how good I'm doing, how, how much they praise me, and how um, this is the visitor from, yes, from the last reading. Not the, you know, that last visitor that I had. Um where she gushed over and she DM'd me and all of this stuff, but she, um, wouldn't, you know, publicly 
like my stuff she I don't know what the deal is here but um I had to block her out I I couldn't <laughs> there was something not right about it there was something absolutely not right about it like you could check certain boxes and then I did even a reading you saw that you saw me do a reading um with her in it but there was something strange about it like she was trying to take my life force that's why she was present here and she wouldn't do it she wouldn't gush over me publicly just privately it's like when someone like targets you and um and the way i know this is because when i woke up this morning tmi click out if you if it's too much for you um but this morning when i went pee um not only was it like different but also like um, stuff came out of me like I had sex or something and someone came in me and I had no, no activity whatsoever, whatsoever. And that's the first time that happened with a girl or someone posing as a girl on here. I, I don't freaking know, but, um, that's the first time that that happened. So, and she told me that she had several inventions. Like she likes to think of certain things and she came from a certain lineage and, this and uh what else um that she just came up with something that she's working on she thought of three days ago and I was like that's pretty exact but she wouldn't tell me what it was and it was like there was something wrong about like that in the link with my sacral chakra um somebody now I know she was messing with me I know there's like even though the cards showed me there was some um, interception there. There was something gnarly going on. And so I had to kick her out. I had to kick her out. Like there was no prefix to anything. It was just all of a sudden she came out of nowhere, just like the attorney that came out of nowhere last night. It, there's something wrong, like moving in haste and there's something absolutely wrong about it. So like anytime that there's that much confusion w at the heightened state that I'm in, I know that there's somebody fucking around. So, um, had to kick her out. All right. So spirit, what do you want to say with regards to all of this? Uh, with, uh, um, the sun and then 10 of wands. Okay. So yeah, Tina, you're, you're creating a fire. Basically you have uh, like underneath all, like you see all those sticks, you're going to resource all of those supposed burdens um because you're packing lightly now okay so in order to let all of that go what does the sun do when these sticks approach like in in some they light on fire that's what they that's what happens right there so um like all sorts of bullshit energy is as like come to in me in these subtle forms of um like it's conflict twofold the five of wands two twofold like coming at me from behind and it's like if you're going to target my children do you know how much karma is due your way fuck like okay yeah just talking about justice right there what opened to, to that is the elemental of water and the seven of swords mm -hmm, in reverse okay so it's washing away that bullshit energy yeah, that's what's happening right here, okay? Not going to deal with that. <laughs> and what this is doing is, like, these people are like puppetry. They think that they're like grand high witches, grand high priestesses, or whatever, when all they are are just puppets. Just meh, 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 meh. They don't really have their own voices. You know, they might have some kind of standing, but they lose their power when they work for bullshit energy. You know, they're just pawns here to meant sent to distract me because and they're they're not even really seeing that like the whole story of it because they're so sucked into like how they can benefit, you know. So, um, what is this? 
two of wands and the circle. Yeah, my divine crew has told me I have sized that up correctly, that they have mentored me well in order to show up for myself not, instead of just like my supposed wantings. Like I'm not wanting that badly. I'm not that thirsty or hungry to fall for their bullshit traps. So do you see that? Um, most definitely. Communication right there. Her maze. Mm-hmm. But my divine crew, my inner inner core divine circle, and my most eth my most ethical, this, they're they're saying this is um twelve. This is the hanged man, um suspended, um. This is um being um objective. This is a situation. My whole crew, the whole circle within this Stonehenge of energetics, are telling me you're fucking on point. So, if you look left or right. <laughs> it's saying the same thing, whether you're singularly speaking or like in some, but that is absolutely correct. You have passed the test, Tina. You have passed the test as far as like, um, you know, needing um, the desire for companionship on the same level. When you really know, when you know, like the level is not one dimensional. Okay. So it, it, it's not fulfillment in itself just to say you're a descendant or come from a long dynasty, a lineage of this and that. It's, it, you, you have to earn your keep. You're not just going to, like, um, be, what, uh, <laughs> grandfathered in somehow. Is that how you say it? It's like, what do you call it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay, what came up? Two of Swords, and then down here we have Elemental of Fire in Reverse, Ace of Swords, and Mother of Swords. Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, and then right here, um, the Charm of um, Wand, like fire. The Charm of um, Magic, like the Spirit of Magic. You know, the Spirit of the Law is the Spirit of Magic. Um, this is creativity in its true form pocketed like psh, I can save that for later. I have bottomless pit of that mm -hmm. um, But this is standing in my truth within my practice you see cards books all of that Are within my wielding I'm not just Book smart within this stuff like I may not have like certain terminologies or certain names intact like those are those are channels of delivery, okay? They're not, they're not the actual, like, thing thing. Um, so, somebody's trying to mess with me also, like, in my sleep as well. But, I think this is more powerful within its upright standing, saying that I have the ability to, um, or I'm exercising, I'm practicing the ability to get to people within their um, subconscious states. Um, um, factors that mean something to them, their house, their car, their like knowledge, etc. So um, that was on the receptivity side. Mm -hmm. Since this is an upright, this is good. This is what... So... Um, judgment initiation it's the practice of the initiate there's nothing more this is a very intimate connection like it's unbreakable so like when it comes to like this this layer of like paperwork and this and that like it's going to be okay. It's going to be better than okay. Um, all of these things that are like lined up are forms of distraction. So I call upon my innermost divine team, my most ethical crew. I give you permission to in divinely intervene, led by the angels of love and light. Not just your average, like, you know, 
not even just my most divine crew not just your average struggling earth angel i'm looking for the most elite the most ethical to divinely intervene i welcome that in as needed for the highest good so I'm going to I'm going to go with that. Okay? Cuz for the past 20 some odd years, I've gone with the other stuff. Okay? No more of that. You see how life spoke for itself? Dude. <laughs> no. Mm, 9 of wands. Yeah, so I'm standing up. I'm standing guard. Mm. This person doesn't show any wounds, though. Maybe a, a scar on his ribs. Upper rib. But, um... What do you want to say about that? So there's another energy that has, I don't know, do you want to say just like a little tid tidbit about who I'm thinking of, Spirit? Because I don't, I have to give that one time to, to, to like really think about, I'm not sure. Page of Cups, um, well it's an admirer. Mm. Someone you bring good vibes to. Someone enjoying the good vibes. Okay. Okay. Um, Elemental of Earth. Six of Cups. King of Swords. And an Invite. Card. Mm. Um, so it's someone... Um, very much in their king of swords energy um so very much of the same suit like-mindedness um there's an open um it doesn't open doors to everyone looks like because of the way the king of um or crone of swords looks um but very much kinship energy yeah fruitful beneficial and they seem to be very much charmed like invested in me this person interesting i don't know if there's multiples but i know that i can at least speak for one okay um so that's good so like i said there's like polar opposites of like examples like spirit saying like okay so this is company at its like um you know, um, hidden worst and, um, obvious, like, fitting position. Um, they're showing me, like, the attorney, same thing. Um, so that's what I am looking at. It's like getting an eye exam. It's like better this way or this way. This or that. One or two or three. Let's look at two. One, two, three. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's very similar to that, um, and so that's what they're doing. They're they're taking an exam of my um, my vision, my my capabilities in discernment. So you can. I even. I'm even told that I'm. I have the option of neither here nor there. Like one or two is pretty much the same. So like. Is there anything that's better? Let's kind of bookmark that. Mm -hmm. um, this one over seven, transformation. So, um, yeah, this is movement because things are transforming. Like, m my abilities are shifting. And that's, like, something to look, to be very fond of in this sitting right now, okay? Looking at all the things that are coming my way and 
um, I'm not going to stress over, you know, my children being targeted because I know that I'm protecting them and those that are protecting me are protecting them. And if I have the choice to relinquish some of, you know, certain things, um, so be it, you know, but, um, there's, I'm not going to add to that stress bucket. Okay. I'm going to let whoever is sending their bullshit energy choke on their own stuff. Okay. Um, choke on their own words. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to keep moving on. Um, to think that they have more power than spirit, like to indulge in that, to entertain that, it's no, no. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, omens, it's a tower moment, 16, right there. Mm -hmm. So the spirit's allowing me to move past this easily. Like you see like when someone's like yuck, okay, I'm not going to be a part of that. So I'm just going to like move past it. And I'm being allowed to, so that the stuff can come to them in, in its exactness, and then some. Oh my gosh! You you see, I told you I have I have alliances that are just strong, like in every field. And it's not to say that like um, there's a um, al allies or so it's like special alliance program that spirit has me on but anyway being served you know who's being inve who's invested in this guess what the freaking devil i told you i'm delivering the worst of the worst the most hidden like bullshit energy to the to the devil's likings you know um that's that's what's happening right there clear the way for ten of pentacles so that even the devil finds more purpose in what what their role is, what their what their purpose is. There's a certain divinity in us all, and to be able to be assigned something that's um, worthy of teaching people a lesson, for sure. So they're dabbling in like the worst of the worst, you know. And yet in the reading before, I had Nadir, but it was like I was thinking the eye of Nazar. But so I was speaking in terms of that and I was told to speak on that the way I saw it. But in hindsight, it's it's protection from like the worst of the worst get like reaching their all time low. What's happening with them with at an um, atomic bomb level? Um, this shit is being clean slated. That's why it was so um, pertinent to see Adonis and Anubis right there. But the one that holds like prime seating was Anubis. Like this, then that. Um, for those that speak in tit for tat terms. And so, tap of the deck, what do you want to say? It's the world. Three of swords in reverse. No, like no more heartbreak. We saw this earlier today. To run into the same, the same card um, from another deck. That's amazing. Like I, I can see it now. You know, it's crystal ball. Um, it's split to this too. Oh, five of cups. Athena. Just, mm, it's very exacting. You see the thunder right behind her. Saying goodbye and serving the, the paper, serving the dish. Mm -hmm. Okay, split to two. Nine of cups in reverse. Can we keep getting that? What makes you happy? Five of pentacles. What makes you happy and how can that be um, achieved with a bare bones approach? Um, because the bare bones approach isn't always going to be bare bones, I'm being told. Okay? Four of wands. Okay? That's home and hearth. Um, this is the spirit of the home. 
a well-respected temple. Mm -hmm. the, the Empress. Yeah, this is the Empress's home. So, definitely, the Empress's well-being and being. Those who she takes under her wing. Um, so, it's not always going to be bare bones. So there's meat in all of it. Like, the actual being of it all. So, what's behind her? Four of Swords. So, we're working on recuperation. Okay. I am, at least... Um, there was something else here before the Nine of Cups. King of Wands. So what do you want, Tina? I'm just looking at the cards to see what else they're saying. What do you want? Because you can definitely make it happen. You you know how to make it happen. That's what they're saying. Yeah, so they're saying whether I move backwards or forwards. There's something about... I can go at... Something about my darkness, like... Getting to know myself, like the innermost parts, like... It's kind of blocked off from anyone else. Yeah, like I am allowed to search through those depths. Because there's something about a channel of communicating to the divine with no issue, no cause. There's like no conflict of interest when I reach other religions, other realms, other sentience. Yeah, because they see me as like a supreme student that's assisting with the grand plan because my intentions hold true. Oh wait, is that the star? There's something... deeper about me something that's interesting all right um all right spirit okay wait i need to turn that back there we go um anything else that you want to say before i move into bananagrams and then <laughs> my stuff okay again what opened up to the world card in reverse is um, the last two cards that should shown, which is, um, Six of Swords in Reverse, and, um, the Hermit card, Dark Knight of the Soul. So, I think timelines have changed, because they said that, like, a fight is coming, but I don't get that vibe right now. Um, what the presentation is, is that some people might come off that way, um, in particular my ex, um, and his representation, but, um, I feel like the way I'm supposed to receive it and the way I'm currently seeing it is a new presentation, which is, um, um, allowance and seeing, um, that there's already a calm within me. Um, so, going through this dark night of the soul, there's like going deeper into the woods through the thick of it. Um, there's something calming in itself going through it. Like, you know, you're motioning yourself, um, through the, um, oddities and the unfamiliar, um, aspects of this, this place that is hard to, to, 
um, see clearly in. And it's a matter of closing out cycles. Um, I don't really know what they mean about these closing cycles. Maybe just seeing, like, putting an end to these faces that are these various figures of haterdom before you even got back into spirituality, before you got to know prayer again. Like, all those people that discouraged you. Hmm. Putting a close to that. Mm hmm. So that there's, um, so that there's less conflict. It's like, it's kind of, I don't know, if, is it forgiving? I feel like it's more so, um, exploration mode of these, of these circus-like puppetries here. Um, yeah, it's like adventure within that realm. So it's nothing personal. It's more about their objections um, that are hidden projections. That's what's going on there. So when we close out cycle, it's it's just easier to navigate once you see like them as mm, projections. They're just illusions. Because what's happening here is that I'm going to see a whole new realm of possibilities. You just have to be present and tune in to what's happening. Like, so, but there's victory here, definitely. Absolute victory in the end. Mm. You know, I feel like the devil is even invested in the union that has come for me. Um, because to, to know that you're a part of, like, to have, like, such a bad rap for what you do because you have to teach people lessons like the Grim Reaper almost, um, um, it's like there's more to it than that the devil's got to account for something you know for the growth of other people um like they have to live with what they do um the devil right and and so that's a lesson that they are kind of doomed to repeat through teaching other people and and with that it's like um they also get the benefit in knowing that they urged something beautiful to happen um, indirectly because of that, that um, they have, they are able to um, create beneficial byproducts without any trickery. Like they can still engage in what they have to do in order to, you know, motion people towards their stuff. Um, but they're also, you know, allowing for something wonderful to happen so like that's the biggest trickery in the book <laughs> you know I don't think people realize that so um that's oh oh, oh what happened here <laughs> doing it in reverse oopsie <laughs> Dipsy dipsy. That was weird. Okay. Um, so we have Maiden of Fire striking the match. Kind of like telling ghost stories, Tina. And the Emperor. Yeah, so Spirit is with me on this one. You know? It's the God. The Emperor is with me, like, behind me on this one. Um, so... Things are, 
this is this is good okay um bottom of the deck again queen of cups we got that we ended with that again queen of cups um that's wonderful actually this is the king of cups that's jesus christ energy that's spirit and cash king of cups hello what's up <laughs> crazy top of the deck is seven of wands having the higher ground gifted by jesus christ excellent all right i'm gonna put that on the recipient side because why not Okay, um, my innermost divine crew, what is it that you want me to see from here? Okay, that one was you. Okay. Something magnetized, you know, left side. Something being very magnetized to me. A lot, a lot of energy. Um, but especially law of attraction. And another you came through, um, closest, and it was, um, Law of Attraction on the doing and the receiving side. E-Q-O-E-S-I-M-I-S-E-I-E-R-Z-I-A-L-N-E-I-A-U-R. Okay, I see Rui. Um, Queen, queer, queso, so cheese, <laughs> queria, what does that mean in Spanish, Q-U-E-I-R-I-A? Q U E R I A Kerea. Hold on, I gotta look that up. Mm -hmm. It says wanted to, that's what it means. Um all right, I don't wanted to? What? What is that even wanted to? Okay. Um, what's quesermo? Hold on, I gotta look that up. I don't know. But queser is what to be. I don't know. Um, oh my gosh, I'm getting quesera. What will be, will be. That's crazy. So, like, not to stress out, like, so much. Like, to add to that, we got to think of our investments beyond the, like, what's, um, like, immediately, like, thought of as money. No, there's more wealth than that. I'm seeing Lazarus. Frick, who's Lazarus? Give me a sec. That's freaky. <laughs> I think some people want to speak for, like, I'm supposed to work on my, um, my channeling for um people like who have passed away like they're still giving me messages but i don't i'm not a hundred percent aware of it at all times um but it, it does happen so <laughs> but lazarus like i thought lazarus was like um you know like you know cain and abel type of you know like somebody that betrayed something i thought so i know i don't remember too much but I looked it up and Lazarus was brought to back to life by Jesus four days after his death. You know what they're saying? I, I have skills in necromancy. Like, 
I, I, I kind of got the feeling for it because I started getting like certain tools that were kind of meant for it without really 100% knowing. I just knew that I was drawn to it and all of these, you know, certain things that were meant to protect me when, when channeling through because other like dark BS energy was using it in a very disrespectful way but they're saying that i can bring it to justice justice but um, oh my gosh what will be will be so as far as bringing things back to life it's resuscitation we talked about the recuperation the four of um swords right here um i did see that in the cards i'm not sure if i laid it down but that's not all interesting <laughs> okay there's a lot of vowels left here <laughs> like three six nine ten vowels here and an n and an m so what do we do mm -hmm. name names you know okay what they're saying here because um it's pointing me in the direction of they're for, they first said like kicking ass and taking names but they're also saying that because it's on the ground level of lazarus um that you know my watchers um because this is, these are timeless energy readings when i'm putting out and like going through the names um when a name pops out that whatever it means to you it's it's meant to reach you like that energy that person is trying to reach you they are trying to reach you so it's it's that's coming from like ground level um so especially when you're at your lows that's what they're trying to say um oh with the rest of this they're just showing me that there's a huge portal here i mean i could they want to be plain and simple about this okay they, they want people to be able to see what's what's going on here so they're showing me let me just see if there's anything else that i can put here there's leo energy as well so my north node is in leo so okay also what 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 Mm. Hmm. Neo. Um, that was, I think, the main character. I think that was in The Matrix. Um, emo. But mm, there's something about, like, a portal. Okay portal and the sun but there's also a portal to like this building I don't there's something here where it's hold on there's something about that here hmm something about the names also in gold like they're gilded um something about an underground portal that i can access let me show you because you got to see this this isn't this is a little trippy here okay let me plug in my phone real quick oopsie did it get snatched in there oh i got it okay but look okay Kessara and then um Lazarus names but then you see this this was originally up here okay on the inner side between the um building like there's a portal and then there's the sun right this is um ground so when we're talking about the bare bones approach you know neck neck patty whack give a dog a bone this old man came rolling home this old man he gave five he played, hold on, let me see.
see what I thought. It didn't make sense, but like this old man, he played Nick Nack on, um, he played five, five bones. He played Nick Nack on my hive with a Nick Nack patty whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. And I don't understand, like, with a hive, like, what is, so that's probably like my, my crew. My, um, you know, the, the beehive, you know? So anyway, um, it, it just started looking a little cluttered and it's supposed to look simple here. Okay. But there's the building right there. Okay. Um, and there's something about, but I was told to move this here. So AU, something gold did gilded here. Um, but the underground portal, like bringing in my uppercase A game, um, doing this like necromancy stuff. There's something about that, like the calling upon those who have passed away to deliver messages. Something about that that I have certain access to that I'm supposed to be like looking at because even with this, because beehives are up top, right? So looking at that, it's kind of like there's also like an antenna. Do you know what I'm talking about? But it's also saying that inversely speaking, that like I'm an anchor. You see that? It's there's definitely something about an anchor and the um like the sun. There's something about that here. Um but looking more at this, um, there's something more anchoring, like beneath the surface. I mean, especially when you look at justice, just like that. Holy smokes. There's something that, oh, that's so creepy. Uh, I don't want to say creepy, but like, definitely there's something here where I, I'm supposed to work on that stuff. And, and the, the crazy, like the, the thing about this, okay. Is that, um, like, it's, it's weird because, like, the, <laughs> the, the strangest thing about this is that the people who have the most, like, hater dumb energy so, supposedly work in spirituality of love and light within these religions that are supposed to be, like, of, like, you know, goodness and, you know, this and that. And those are the ones that give me, like, the most hate. But, when I talk about like the devil energy and like how it's how it has great purpose in um, um, improving our situation and um, looking out for us from like beneath the surface, the, the, that which we um, neglect to um, really reach into, um, um, those people um, don't give me hate. I don't know what it is like. On, like there's people who are just learning and dabbling into that that you know give me hate those are the puppetries or whatever but the people that like work like very deep into that I have a feeling that I get more respect from them than I do from you know whoever's like holier than thou kind of thing it, it's it's the I don't know it's like the strangest thing to me um but um that's definitely what they're saying here. Um, yeah, it just keeps going into like some wonderful ish. But um, I'm going to take this like Jesus Christ energy. I'm, like Jesus Christ has been always good to me. That's why people I think are shook by the differences in, um, you know, the, the things that I download. So what do you want to say about that? The comparison between where I get respect and verse, versus hate. Um, I'm, I'm just speaking of ratio. I'm not looking at pure numbers. I'm looking at the ratio. Um, like, am I wrong about that spirit? Or is that just a perception within the, the, um, the current ratios that I'm seeing right now? But regardless, all of this stands. This is correct. Um, 
this is in reverse six of swords in reverse so there's a calm there's a chill mm, i think there's a like a quiet some there's like like i've silenced people with a freak book of shadows five yeah because my teachings are very non-traditional um this is a hierophant but this is the book of shadows like turned upside down it's brought to the light like um okay uh interesting it's 523 right now okay two of pentacles and eight of swords um yeah so i can just chill like things are coming into balance people are just like waiting it's like um it's not even the quiet before the storm it could be for some definitely but for me there's something like like you can hear crickets like People are just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> I think that's true. Yeah, because this is the Queen of Wands, Mother of Fire. Like, what is she? What is she? What is she gonna do? No, oh, Ace of Wands. Yeah, what is she going to do? <laughs> Three of Pentacles. Yeah like ooh, three of cups oh my gosh this is good shit master number 33 it's oh my gosh it keeps going what yeah four of wands the empress and then again four of swords recuperation Six, yeah. dude this is how does this even show up again it's i mean like this is identical six of wands ace of pentacles in reverse being funded by it five of cups six of pentacles um the what do you call it the hermit the nine of pentacles so that's master number 99 master performer both in the major and minor arcana show up and pentacles um yeah the having abundance and the abilities to serve dishes hot cold warm whatever serving the dishes the way they should be and there's like it's like a red carpet like a, no one can stop that it's like blocked off from others like it's not a block to me it's a block to others because got the ace of cup waiting for a thirst quencher and then like a uh, dude like i'm there's there's so much goodness here so um i'm gonna close out with that um uh, now that this energy reading is um officially over whoopee <laughs> um I thank all my sponsors and supporters who have donated light and love in light and love. It's received and employed accordingly. Thanking you for your respecting my time, my space, my energy, my work, and that of my children's in advance, ongoing. Um, and <clears throat> now that this reading has come to a close, I send all energies back to their appropriate locations outside of mine. With your appropriate karma's due. Assisting with that rollout. Enlighten love. And close all portals now. Yeah.